be as perfect as he was. Who he, was he? He was like the head of the CIA. Our CIA right now? Yeah. He's like an actor. Do you no, think he's no, an actor? yeah. Yeah. Did, did you see it? They no, asked, I didn't. They, they asked him if, if he had any information about stuff with, with um, uh, Russia and certain s states. And he said, you know, and he answered the question and he said, you know, and I'd like to, you know, I'd like to add that we're an overseas intelligence organization. So that sort of information may not be the kind of information that... Oh, and I he did was see that guy. I did see perfect. that guy. I haven't seen an actor in the movies play it as well as he. And if, if I don't think I knew who that was. If someone in the movies was playing it like he played it, I would have sit there hamming it up. It would have been fine, you know, it would be like good he movies. He knew he was on TV. It would have just felt like... <laughs> he was hamming it up. It would have felt like, what a character. It's like, it would have felt like, yeah, this is the movies. <laughs> well, Donald Trump's president, any, I, I everybody's hamming I it up. I haven't seen anyone in the movies play it quite so, you know... We'll be right back. Okay, so after even though maybe, maybe they've got Obama's just by hiring and just Obama might be about to go to jail. I think he's a bit afraid about things. I mean, he's much more likely than Hillary. I don't know. All Hillary did was wipe some emails. She didn't try to get people surveilled against the law, or did she? She wasn't responsible. She wasn't president. Okay. I'm going to photograph these clouds. Wow. This is very, very unusual clouds we've been having today. They're just different all around the sky. What was that music? Okay. That's good. Right. Mm. I like doing the clouds every day, kind of keep it right yeah. So Obama's had eight years to kind of like get them to lean his direction, and I'm sure there's some Democrats in some of those organizations, right? But it's not their natural bent. So much so that when the FBI warned. This was why it's like some of this Russia stuff. Like it's all a red herring, isn't it? Apparently, it's a distraction technique or something. The FBI warned the Democrat um, guys. These are just little clips. Yeah. Yep. Apparently the FBI warned the Democrat Party that their servers might have be been compromised and spied on and offered to help secure the server and the Democratic Party said no because apparently they didn't trust the FBI. These are the guys Why who, wouldn't they trust the FBI? Because I think even though it seems as though the FBI is in their pockets, in Obama's pockets, I think that's why that he did that special still... rule that they all had to share. They're not in his pocket at all. Well, probably some are, some they are. They don't like him at all. Well, probably not. Some guys like him, some guys but don't. here's the thing, I think they're, they're not, it's not their natural bent to be wrestling. I think a lot of people join it who are probably right wing um, so that even though he's had eight years to kind of steer them to the right, I don't know if it's taken 100% and give them a little time and it might come back, <laughs> you know, from the list. And I just think it's interesting that even though we're suspecting the eyes in Obama's pockets, um, the, F, the, um, the, the Democrat Party didn't trust them. Right, so they, I just think that's anyway, that got shared on Tucker Car Carlson, that guy that was saying they, yeah. they collect information on everybody since 2001. Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. would they do? Wipe it all? What, mm -hmm. what would they have to do? Wipe it? How could they, anybody mm -hmm. prove they hadn't done it now that they have mm -hmm. the capability? Well, if you're Obama and you're like, 
or one of his, you know, guys. He's in someone the else's the, pocket. In the um, intelligence organization, to your way of thinking. That prophet guy saw him how crying. Can you, how can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say Obama, he could be, you know, one of his guys. He's somebody you know. who's in charge of him. But, um, and I would, I would think the obvious way to do it would be, obviously, with the leadership. Just the people on appointing guys who are on your side, I guess, and you know, as leaders, as leaders, as leaders, as leaders, and try and get those leaders for him. It would be difficult to do it at a low level, wouldn't it? It would be difficult to... Um... Birdie might still be out and about. Mm, could be. It would be difficult to do it at a deep level, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, because let's say, I didn't know what it was going to say 80% of the employees are Republican. How are you going to fire 80% of everybody? From backup guy, tech guy, telephone guy, receptionist? You know, you're going to fire them all? So, and they may be loyal and true and take orders, so if they get some West Wing orders, they just say aye aye and do it. But it, it's not really in their heart to boost a bomb all the time. They're just like, no, nah, I'm doing it for the country and I'll follow orders because that's my job, but yeah, I'm still Republican. Everyone's been dished probably, out a certain amount of power anyway. Yeah. Every human. That's probably the case with the intelligence agencies. I suspect. It's just the sort of pe people from doing that think, come on, hippies join the FBI. You know, they call him the man, right? Hmm. How many hippies join the They call it the establishment. Yeah, how many? You know what I mean? So. Of course they're right wingers. Yeah. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah, they're going to oh, serve my country. They're not going to be Jesus freaks and they're not going to be hippies. They're going to be right wing yeah. Mr. Burns type guys. So not necessarily all bad. Still doesn't trust the FBI. 